All those people who said there'd be no jollifications, how wrong they were. I emerged, the first full sleep in ages. The light was harsh, but the room was vivid. The news greeted me, alongside tea and bread and strawberry jam. I smiled, another first, as Jean lit my cigarette. I turned and grasped her waist, and we looked out the window. Beyond the house the rocket levelled, the crowds are out already, heading into town. Jean said, maybe we'll join them later. I said, yeah, we'll see how we go. I folded the paper away, not fast with the details, and mentally did the same, with the butchery and sorrow. It wouldn't leave me, but now I had to live with the living, and thank sheer chance Jean and I could. Later I relented, and we walked with the people, past the buildings where our victory was planned, up to the palace in whose name we had sworn. We really showed the bastards, a sailor said. I said, yeah, we got them good. Surviving the second war was really something. That was all I felt in the raucous. And I knew that would continue in the years that we had left to go. One tear rolled as I craned for a change in view. The distant figures, the powers that be, waved from the balcony. I lifted Jean up as the cheering cascaded, and in that massive din was peace. I wondered briefly how long it would last, and then I didn't care. down in the dumps, these big-hearted folk. Now they were in real East End high spirits. 